Hi everyone, thank you very much for clicking on this video and back out. It's a glorious spring-like day in the great outdoors and I'm out on some local trails for the purpose of testing a new stove. It's only going to be a short one. It's the Polaris by Fire Maple and it's their very first regulated all-in-one cooking system. So I'm going to find a patch of local woodland I've been testing this out behind the scenes for about six weeks or so so hopefully if you're thinking about it or you want to know some more about it this video will prove useful to you I'll speak to you when we get to our location so this is the box it comes in the Polaris pressure regulator cooking system little bits of instructions on there a couple of facts and figures I'm not going to go into all of that today uh, in infinite detail I'm going to use pretty much layman's terminology and just keep it simple some of the basic facts though it weighs 622 grams it's not an ultralight stove but it doesn't pretend to be it's a self-contained all-in-one cooking system when we open the box up you can see it comes in this nice carrying pouch with a drawstring toggle on the top so it just keeps it all together and nice and secure in your bag or your pack so in terms of the components of this stove package when you take it out the carrying pouch this is what you get it's all self-contained and it nestles into itself and we've got this nice handle which fastens over the top with this brass attachment just to just to keep it locked into place and stop it you know all the contents coming out in your pack to release it it's just a case of putting a bit of tension on the top handle and moving that out of the way and we can open it and get into the components we've got this transparent lid which is useful for seeing what's going on inside the cooking vessel it's got a vent here for the steam to escape which is useful sometimes when you're boiling and you don't have that the lid starts popping off just because of the pressure building up inside so there's nice vent got a nice cool to the touch fin stroke handle on the top nice flexible material there it's not going to break off or snap so the components inside you get the burner head assembly itself it's got a piezo igniter you can see the button for that there we've obviously got the regulated burner assembly which sits within this head and there are some indentations on the circumference of this ring which correlate to the base of this assembly if you've seen fire maples other stoves and indeed some other brands uh, it will sit on there and then twist slightly which makes sure it locks into place so that's the burner head assembly we're going to get that fired up very shortly we've got a support mechanism for your gas canister it just opens out you've seen them all before they fold out and your gas cartridge your gas canister sits on that and it just gives it a bit more stability increases the surface area in the footprint uh, make sure that your stove's not going to fall over really useful if you're cooking inside your tent and finally you've got this ring which basically lifts uh, the footprints of the burner assembly and allows you to use other pans or other cookware you know you could use a standard frying pan uh, you don't just have to use the included fire maple vessel here so that makes it really versatile that's really useful a lot of people you know you stick a frying pan on there it's absolutely fine and uh, it's a nice little feature really simple just drops into place there and stays nice and secure so I think all that's left to do is to screw the gas on get it fired up and get some water boiled up another thing to mention is the handle similar to other fire maple stoves really secure and solid you've got this small strip of metal which you press down it releases that for when you're packing away and then to secure it for cooking just clicks into place and locks into place there really handy it's not going to collapse on you when it's full of boiling water and you've obviously got this nice neoprene cozy which goes around the side and obviously protects your hands from the hot contents inside if you look inside the cooking vessel you've got some volume marking stamped on the side there half a litre 
on one litre at the very top and they've also put it in ounces as well I wouldn't boil any more than one litre in this although it can fit slightly more in it just obviously gives a bit of wiggle room when you've got a boil on the go and you've got your lid so it's a maximum I think of one litre pot which is more than ample for boiling up water for a brew or getting one of your boiling the bag meals directly into there you could fit two in there with ease but let's get it fired up so I've got just over half a litre of water here which is going to be enough for my pot noodle for my lunch here in the woods and a quick hot chocolate in terms of igniting the stove we've got the piezo igniter just on this part of the burner and we've got our gas control valve here which is just operated by twisting this little bit of wire um, designed like that probably to keep the weight down but it's got really fine flame control that's really useful if you want to just simmer or you know you're cooking sort of more delicate items so let's get it ignited and get the water boiled It's been on for about two minutes now, really is powerful, it's nearly on a boil already. And there we go, a rolling boil. I wasn't timing it, I don't think that's important to the exact seconds, but it's around three minutes. Over half a litre of water, quite cold today in the shade in this woodland, but impressive performance. Nice quick boil time. Now everyone likes a pot noodle. So the backdrop of bird song, occasionally pierced by the gas guns of the local farmers, trying to keep the wood pigeons off the crop but I have to say it's absolutely lovely out here this afternoon really is a spring like day so I'm going to enjoy this pot noodle and I'm going to boil some more water for a hot chocolate and we're going to wrap this one up and make our way back Cheers everyone to the great outdoors. So that just about wraps this one up. The Fire Maple Polaris is a really simple to use and good quality all-in-one stove package. Because it's regulated it means you get good consistency from your gas cartridges and better consistency especially in cold weather sometimes the performance starts to wane off as you're losing um, you know gas and it begins to run out but when it's regulated you get the same flow pretty much throughout the duration of the the cartridge so yeah it's a good stove i've used previous stoves by fire maple nice and roomy you can get one or two boiling the bag meals i use these look what we found meals quite a lot in some of my vids i can fit that in with ease and a sachet of boiled in the bag rice too so it's got absolutely everything you need quick water boiler the attachments so that you can use other pans you know if you want to fry some stuff or anything you think of um, so it's really versatile as well so thank you for watching if you've got any questions let me know in the comments below and if you're not a subscriber to MCM Outdoors please do check out the back catalogue and give me a follow on Instagram if you want to and you like seeing pictures of the great outdoors and whatever adventures I'm getting up to I'll see you on the next one and take care.